and welcome back guys we're just approaching all souls church which is a graded one listed building which is located just past north bridge and on booth town and uh, i'm not going to do much talking on this one i want to hand over to Mackie to tell you the history about all souls church but uh, there's some fantastic uh, some stonecraft work um, fantastic looking building if you're in Halifax and you can find if you can find it I urge you to actually go and have a look yourself because it's a fantastic uh, building and it's just down here which is on the Booth Town Road and this is it, we're just approaching it now Fantastic looking uh, building. All Souls Church is a redundant Anglican church. It's recorded in the National Heritage List as a Grade West One listed building under Design Chair and is under the care of the Church's Conservation Trust. It was opened in 1859. The style of the church is Gothic Revival. Its founder was Edward Ackroyd. It's, the architecture who, who designed it and made it was George Gilbert Scott. Pretty easy to open today, but if you ever try, if you find out it's an open day, the windows and the interior is actually luxurious. It's pretty it's, it's been made redundant because it's one of the best churches in Halifax after the Minster. It's also known as the Halifax Parish Church. But 
the architecture and everything is outstanding. Just be careful if you're approaching it as well guys because some of the areas are a bit loose. But a fantastic looking building. The stone Look at the craft is, of that. Whoa. The stone craft on this is just sheer class. But the worst of that is that. Look at the wind the main window upstairs. Nice one, really. Now you welcome that for a window. <laughs> Fantastic. I'll tell you more. Um, underneath, I'll just read the description. descriptions. And it's just on uh, Gulf Town. Just look at the craftsmanship on the and architecture. These leaded windows are just outstanding. Pretty it won't open, so for showing the, the actual leaded windows, they're the breathtaking. I think that you are really in this room here. Yeah, Architecture on these things. Yeah. Not just that, but the look at the windows. The windows, the the old window. Look at the the arch window, <laughs> and then you've got the then you've got the main new window. We've got the. Fantastic carvings. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah. As if you can actually get to it, uh, everyone. There's a track, should come and have a look at it for yourself. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. It's breathtaking. Really is. Have another walk round for you in case I've missed any particular spots for you. Three windows with gargoyles. Yeah. So I'm not saying anything in this particular area for you because I wasn't been in here. As I said, the, the craftsmanship is got to be my If I can get where we are. I can't go fully in for you guys because it's uh, blocked with Big huge gates. Just uh, bear with me, guys. There might be a strange noise in a minute. But there we are. You see the big huge gates there. <laughs>
Let's look at this. No. Look at the man at the men at the top. And there's one at the other side of the top. Yeah. Then there, good swords, and you got one there, one further up. It's all around st steeples, full of them. Uh, I'm getting further up, I am up for you guys. <laughs> Look at that though. That could take some work on that. Breathtaking. Yeah. Just look down here, look up there. And that, the, the architecture on that, sheer. This is what you could say. Britain had the best craftsmanship. Just uh, thoughts on the other side for you now. Just a shame that the clocks aren't working, but there's clocks there. But it's just breathtaking how much. What's really shocking is, to be totally honest, we have fantastic, fantastic buildings in uh, Halifax. And in Calderdale. But the problem is, the council don't look after them. And the council could easily get volunteers to look after buildings like this. Give them a little bit of money because we all know that councils like to turn around and say they don't have money but they actually do have money to actually look after buildings like this and you won't have grass verges the is though, like this. This is, this is a church conservation trust this though. That's what that's who's basically the trust has got it. But why? It should be open. It should be used. Well, fantastic looking building this. It really it is. Be open. It should be used. It should be made redundant anymore this. I think it's made redundant because I don't think it's safe in, inside because it, obviously it's a, it's a old building and uh, It'll probably take... Yeah, but look, the large church around, it's just basically, it still should be, it still should be used. But there again, if you're thinking like it logic like Dad's saying, the York Minster is an old building as well. And that's open. Jeez. But even if they just opened it like, once a year to do like a Christmas service or something along those lines. It's not like we haven't got vicars or priests in Halifax. Is it? No. Right, I'm going to leave it here for you guys on this fantastic looking window. All Souls Church. I'll leave a bit more description about it in the comments below and of course thank you to Mackie for talking us around the church like comment and subscribe and if you of course if you know anything about it or history around certain areas of the church would like to know as well in the comments below. Thank you for watching.